Assalamu alaikum Gambia. This is Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint, and I am your host, Rafi Jalo. I am happy to be back on your screens, on your favorite TV, Fine TV Gambia, on your favorite program, Issues on Educational Development. Today, um, I'm hosting a young lady from uh, the Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies, um, GCRPS, in abbreviation. She's here to talk about their organization and she will get to introduce herself first before we go um, in depth into the interview. Hello, young lady. How are you doing? Hello, Ms. Raki. It's good to be here. Yeah. Good afternoon, viewers. Mm -hmm. Welcome yet again to another program, and it's really a pleasure being here today. Yeah. Um, my name is Binta Sise, yeah. um, Admin and Finance Assistant, Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies. Mm -hmm. Binta Sise is just a normal girl yeah. who is so hardworking to mm -hmm. achieve towards achieving her dreams. Yeah. Um, I actually graduated from the university at the age of 22, and I believe many young people, especially girls out there, mm -hmm. could do as me. Yeah. So this is basically about me. Yeah, that's a good intro, Binta. Um, and that's a good, um, I would call it an inspiration to girls that are watching to know that um, girls can also do it. Yeah. Like, to go to school, graduate at 22 is a big achievement. Right. It's a very big achievement. I wish I had that opportunity. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to have you on our platform. Um, we're going to discuss about um, the Gambia Center for Research and, and Policy, Policy Studies. Studies. Yeah, what's your role at the center, Binta? Okay, um, Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies. I am um, an admin and finance assistant in this organization. Okay. The Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies. I'll just give a brief um, explanation about, about what we the do. center. Okay. Yes, about the center and what we do. Okay. The Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies mm -hmm. is a think tank organization mm -hmm. that is established to perform interdisciplinary research and advocacy concerning pertinent development issues mm -hmm. and to give advices on topics that are related to different areas. Yeah. Yes, to give diverse advices and solutions. Okay. We as well also bond and create educational opportunities for students, researchers, policy makers, and as well generally institutions here in the Gambia. Okay. Yes. So as part of our educational um, initiatives, we um, have um, seminars, seminars and webinars. And sessions. webinar sessions. Yeah. Yes, that would help educate people. Mm -hmm. So why we said the GCRPS, it is a think tank organization. Mm -hmm. The think tank here means we give alternative advices, yeah. alternative solutions to these um, organizations mm -hmm. during um, decision making processes. processes yes. yes. So we figure, we work with governments and non-governmental groups mm -hmm. in um, finding out identification of development bottlenecks, mm -hmm. trying to suggest practical solutions and as well promote appropriate um, actions yeah. Yeah, to, to take place. So our services here is on research, mm -hmm. consulting, mm -hmm. publication of journals and books. Yeah. As we have seen, we have many writers here in the Gambia mm -hmm. and we they, most of them, their um, writings, um, things are not being public, uh, published public, in yeah. public. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is basically, um, in short, this is what we do. Okay. So um, the GC... RPS uh, um, is constituted by people, right? Yes. How many membership do you have? Yes. At this, the moment, this organization is constituted by four, uh, seven members. Sorry, okay. Seven members. Seven members. Yes. And this institution is um, chaired by um, the board. Um, the chairperson of the board is okay. na is called Dr. Babu Kaba. Okay. And as well, the president is uh, Mr. Mudu Ture. Okay. Yes. So okay, but it's constituted by seven members. By right? seven members of the board. Okay. So, so far, do you know how many seminars that you guys, you guys have conducted? Yes, we have like, um, we did one in mathematics, mm -hmm. one in health, mm -hmm. one in IT. Mm -hmm. We did one in ethics. Yeah. Yes. So this um, upcoming one is the one on, on national languages. languages. Okay. Yes. The one on national so languages. Basically it's five. Yeah. Is the next one that is yes. being, being scheduled for, for this coming week. Coming week. Saturday, yeah. This yes. weekend rather yes. on Saturday on yes. the 6th. Yes. Yeah, so um, can you give us a, a rundown of the people that are supposed to 
that are that have to be expected on that on, on that the seminar. Event. Yes, okay. on so, the on the seminar on languages. Yes. So the people that we ex expect are people, phenomenal people, mm -hmm. people that we um, we believe. Mm -hmm. We have even seen what they have been doing in the Gambia. Okay. People that are so, 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 so educated in the side of languages. Mm -hmm. First of all, we will start from the introducer, mm -hmm. um, who is Miss Flora Richard Jame. Yeah. And the moderator for the day is Mr. Musaba, mm -hmm. the scribbler. The scribbler. Yes. The white man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has two titles. He's, he's known as... Um, the scribbler. Uh, yeah, as the scribbler. Yeah. We have Miss um, our guy who's yeah. also a, a bachelor a degree holder in law. In law, yeah. We have you, Miss Dallo. <laughs> it's really a pleasure okay. getting here with you on this yeah, platform. Yeah, I'm humbled. Also, we have um, Dr. Chernobari. Mm -hmm. Chernobari is also well known here in the Gambia. Yeah, he's the big, he's system. the biggest boss among the us. The biggest boss <laughs> among the panel. When it comes to languages, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we also have Mr. Vicente Gomez, who's yeah. also a BA holder in English and literature. Yeah. We as well have Mr. Lam in Jaju, mm -hmm. who's also um, a master's um, candidate My in good brother. administration. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we we expecting all these five panels plus an introducer and a moderator. Yeah. Yes, for the day. Okay. So this day is going to be um, on the sixth May, twenty twenty three. That mm -hmm. is this Saturday, this Saturday coming. coming. Yeah. Um, from 2.30 p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Okay. at the MDI conference room. Okay. And for the teams, mm -hmm. the topic here uh, of discussion is the national languages in yeah. context. I was of... going to ask you that. <laughs> so um, what, is the, what is the topic? No. Like the teams can be left like that. Like for one to know for more, yeah. For one to know more, you can follow up on the on the on the seminar okay. itself. Yeah. But the the topic is on what? Okay. The can topic you buttress more on that? On um, national languages in the context of sustainable development mm -hmm. for the Gambia. Okay. Yes, that is the topic. So we have like five teams where each panelist would have to elaborate on. on yeah. And like I said, mm -hmm. if you want to know more about these teams, mm -hmm. please mm -hmm. just join our seminar session. It is going to be 50% um, face to face and a 50% um, virtual. virtual. So yeah. um, in case you cannot make it to the um, MDI conference room, mm -hmm. you can join us online. Yeah. Yes. That's excellent. So uh, what else do you have to say about the Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies. Okay. Um, what other information, vital information do you have? Okay, the Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies is actually not in existence yet. Mm -hmm. Why we are doing all this seminar and webinar session is to give the public. It's for the, the This center is for the Gambian people, mm -hmm. you understand? Because we believe that Gambia needs an a think tank organization mm -hmm. that will help make researches on certain policy issues, mm -hmm. give feedback to the public to be aware of what is happening in our nation. Mm -hmm. Yes, for nation building, we need this type of thing. Yeah. So this is why we are here for everyone. We are mm -hmm. here for the Gambians. Yeah. Yes. So um, we are creating all these seminars and webinars to give awareness to the public that we are coming up. Mm -hmm. And we are coming big, we are coming strong. Yeah. So I please add... Um, um, plead with everyone yeah. watching right now mm -hmm. to join this seminar mm -hmm. and any other seminar that we have. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so if you want to be um, part of this seminar, you can just call us on 503 5263. 503-5263 or 733-6467. 733-6467. If you contact these numbers, you will be directed straight to our event mm -hmm. and you will learn a lot. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing to to know that uh, people can call in if they are interested in attending. Yes, like there are students that are attending that I know of. Mm -hmm. There are students from various schools that schools. are going to be in attendance. Yes, to know what is going on. You know, it's it serves as a learning point for the students that will be there. It is. And then for the general public as well, um, the adults, anyone that is interested in knowing what is happening with the Gambia Center for Research. Uh, and policy studies seminars, mm -hmm. not only the languages seminar, but mm -hmm. all the subsequent seminars Seminar. that are to come. They can always reach out, like to the numbers that you just gave out for them to be part and parcel of any seminar that they can participate in or mm -hmm. take part in or be an audience, the audience too, isn't it? So, um, I will have to roll you back okay. on your role. Okay. 
at the at the center as the finance and admin assistant um, do you find your work very easy let me let me let me let me let me ask you that question is your work enjoyable is your work easy or is it tedious i want someone to to be inspired by you okay so um being an admin and finance assistant, mm -hmm. the job is not an easy job. It's I would, not. I would not lie to you. Yeah, I know. Like they said, no job is easy. Yeah. Yes. But also they said, nothing good also comes easy. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Yeah. So that's why we are breaking our backs to mm -hmm. make sure that this... I am actually inspired because... Mm -hmm. um, seeing most members of this board mm -hmm. yes we have um some of them here and most of them outside abroad, yeah. abroad mm -hmm. but them having the mind they could have said yes i've made it in life yeah i've I already succeeded yeah. i have succeeded mm -hmm. i'm doing it for my family I, I don't need to look back yeah i don't have to look back uh on the camera but they were not selfish stuff. but they were not selfish mm -hmm. so they they deemed this it important mm -hmm. to come back to the Gambia yeah. to do it for their country. Mm -hmm. So this is the inspiration that's actually keeping me moving. Mm -hmm. It's not a, an easy job. Yeah, being, it's not. Yes, mm -hmm. but one of my dreams that I have is to be an administrator. Yeah. Yes, I did. Um, I have a, a degree, bachelor's degree in, in management. management and public administration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I, yeah, since I have my dream job, mm -hmm. I am really enjoying it. Yeah, because it is something that, <laughs> that I wanted you studied to, that I studied. You prepared your yeah. mind to exactly. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm so prepared, and I believe that I have the skills also to, 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 to give. Yeah. yeah, to give positive results. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So everybody out there, mm -hmm. yesterday was Labor's Day. Mm -hmm. Yes, May Day. So yeah, I I am wishing every every laborer out there yeah. breaking his or her back, back mm -hmm. giving to society, mm -hmm. doing it for yourself because mm -hmm. it's really a big achie achievement. It's an achievement. achievement yes. Yeah. Earning something that you know it is your sweat. Mm -hmm. So yes. I am just a young person like mm -hmm. any other person out there and I know you can do as me. Yeah. Yes. You're right. I wanted some, some people that are watching to get inspired by you because like it's good that we have motivational forces. Yeah. Like as you rightly said, <coughs> your bosses, they are they serve as motivations yeah. to you. Yeah. Like what they do in setting up this center is what is motivating people mm -hmm. like you exactly. to do your best to be at service to them because it's like you're being employed mm -hmm. to be um, an assistant to them yes. in the administrative side, side and in the finance side. You know, that is not a big, uh, that is not an easy thing. Yes. And it's no small thing as well. And, and collectively, giving yes. back to the Gambia. Giving back to the Gambia. Giving back to the Gambia. Because you're doing this for the Gambia. Yes. You're not doing it for I'm Senegal really or, any other, con really or awesome. any other country. Yeah. <laughs> You've been chosen out of the lot. So they say to whom much is given, much more is expected. expected. Because you're not the only educated person here. And you're not the only person that is at disposal to them to choose from. Yeah. But it's because of your competence. And, and, and they have the belief in you. And they have the hopes in you that you will be able to execute that task that you're given. Yeah. That's why you're given the role. Yeah. And I know you're doing it efficiently. Because according to your bosses, you're very, very diligent. That you Maybe he did not tell you, but he got to tell me. Yeah. He told me that you are one person that is doing your utmost best in seeing to it that things that are supposed to be done are done mm -hmm. and in the right manner. Okay. So that, yeah, that's a plus for you. Yeah. And it's good that you hear certain things like that. that they keep you motivated. Yeah. They, they make you do more. They make you do yeah, more. Yeah, they make you do more. Yes. Yes. One so, thing um, I want to add on mm -hmm. is like when you are given um, a, a certain responsibility to carry out. Yes. Yes, you have to be accountable. Accountability is what we lack here in, in the Gambia. Gambia. I'm sorry to say yes. this, but if you if you feel like um, you are accountable, if you believe that you are accountable for a certain stuff, mm -hmm. you have to give it your all because yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't be giving a certain uh, particular responsibility mm -hmm. to carry out, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day, you are being paid your full salary, mm -hmm. and then you just go out there knowing that you do not even give back like positively mm -hmm. as expected um, of, of you. you. Yes, so this is the sad reality. The reality, yeah. Yes. 
um to my bosses yes i'm doing my best because mm-hmm. i know that um it is something that i'm working for mm-hmm. and i do not just want to earn my money mm-hmm. for the sake of just earning it the money. just because i'm employed yes, i but want to be because able you're, to you're impacting that. i'm impacting mm-hmm. i care more of impacting the that, receiving than the that receiving salary. yeah yes and i think this is what every gambian has to yeah. put at the back of our minds mm-hmm. you know um there is this saying that says uh no amount is enough for a job for a job you understand but then the impact that you give is what gives you pleasure exactly yes as as long as you know that you're impacting no matter how small your salary is you're mm-hmm. contented you know that you're doing your job you know that you you're delivering mm-hmm. like us teachers we take pride in seeing our students excel exactly. we take pride in seeing our students make it in life mm-hmm. you understand so when we see those kind of things we know that even though we are not paid the salary that we deserve, mm-hmm. but we are impacting. We are making change. Mm-hmm. Yes. The this students that we are teaching are excelling in life. We should they are doing more. Yeah. We Leaving that le- legacy. legacy is what makes you feel proud of yourself exactly. as a teacher. Exactly. So everybody that is a worker also should have that pride in them that they are impacting. Something. Yes. yes they are impacting. Yes. They, they, they are giving back. They, they, they are doing something for the society. They are doing something for the community. They are doing something for the bigger Gambia. Exactly. You understand? That alone is a reward. It's, it's, it's a plus and a big thing being remembered in the books of your country. Yes. I don't know for anyone, but yes. for myself, mm-hmm. I want to be remembered in the history of the Gambia. Sure. And That's why I'm breaking my back so hard mm-hmm. to be able to get there. Yeah. This, I believe that every young person here to mm-hmm. be able to make it for our Gambia. Yeah. We are all Gambians there. We would see people out there saying that, hey, Sendekabi, Sendekabi. Sorry for using the local language. Mm-hmm. But um, this is the sad reality. Sendekabi, Sendekabi. Mm-hmm. But you are being born here. No matter what happens, <laughs> you will always be a Gambian. This Deka is ours. So no matter <laughs> how bad it is, no you, can, you, cannot, if you, you cannot, out, you cannot dis, um, integrate yourself from the, from the country. From the country. No matter how bad it is, it's you yours. Are, you are already yes, a Gambian. You are a Gambian. Wherever you wherever be, you go. No matter how rich you become in any part of the world you are, you will still Gambian remain a Gambian. Will remain until the rest of this life. So sure. yes, yeah. Those are those are strong, strong, strong words to hear from a young lady, um, that has that has big, big dreams for the Gambia. From what I heard from her, she has big, big, big ambitions for the country, for the mamaland. So these are the kind of people that we should encourage in showcasing and in implementing what they have in them. You know, it's very rare to come by this kind. Like this generation, I'm not saying that um, we have a problem. You understand? We have a problem with this generation, this um, TikTok generation, WhatsApp generation, this Facebook generation of kids that we have. To come by the likes of Binta is very, very rare. It's very, very rare. Some of them, they don't even care. Yeah, I'm sorry to say. It's the sad reality. Yeah, everybody wants to be um, up there, living a luxurious life. Like, you don't care about academics. You don't care about impacting. You don't care about, like, your career. Mm -hmm. This and, and looking at it, um, thinking about all this career stuff, yeah, it's not about yourself. If you look at it at a certain side, no, 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 you are going to be a family person. Yeah, you are going to be. I was um, going to go to that. I was going to go to yeah. that. Like, um, to see a young girl that is still in her early twenties, um, talking this big, like yeah. having big ambitions for herself and for her country, in in planning to give back to her country, is something very very. Um, motivating, like the saying that says, educate a girl child and educate a nation. Like she will be a family woman in the next, let's say five years, or maybe in the next two, three years, you understand? Like her talking this way, you know, will give me hope in knowing that this will go a long way in in, in impacting um, the same energy, the same zeal, the same interest that she has for the nation in her family, Mm -hmm. in her kids. You understand? So that is something that is giving me hope as she speaks because I know it's something that she's saying from her heart. Yes. And you know, Suraki, we have many of these young girls or young people out there yeah, who have this, um, this same zeal. This same zeal yeah. in them. And they just need a little push. Push. Motivation. Able, yeah, motivation. And, and know that somebody also out her. there 
Some the exposure is what is there, lacking. Yes. The exposure is what they don't have. I hope that we can work collectively. Yes. I'm not saying that I know everything. I'm yeah. not saying that I'm perfect. Yeah. But if ev any young person is watching this, mm -hmm. please, please, please be yourself. Mm -hmm. Give out what you can. Do not do not think about the people. Yeah. People do not have what they eat or drink, but they will always, they always have, have what, what to say. say. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do not mind That's the fact. all of all of those things. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Know yeah. that you can do it. Mm -hmm. When you are giving a, a certain responsibility, yeah. carry it out. Do not say because this particular person is not doing this, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. No, you're receiving your money. You should be proud that you did something to receive that money. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is just a few um words that I Good. have to say. That. Yeah. So um. Still to roll you back on those, <laughs> on, 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 your, on the basics about you, okay. Binta, um, how do you juggle as a girl? How do you juggle work with, with work at home, domestic work? Because mm -hmm. as every girl is expected to do, to do right. one or two things at, yeah. at, at the house. Right. So how do you juggle this? Because you, you, you are working, you're employed, but your mom will also need you in the house. So how do you juggle this? So that somebody watching, that does not know how it is done, yeah. can know how it is done. Or some of them would say, hey, yeah, I have work, so I cannot do your Yes, job yeah. Okay, so one thing about me is that I have a very understanding mom. Mm -hmm. But one also, first of all, mm -hmm. um, I, I know all the basics at home at an early stage. Yeah. Yes, I know all the basics at an early stage. Mm -hmm. I've learned how to cook how to learn that, how to do all those basic stuff at home. Mm -hmm. So um, my mom is also a very understanding woman. Mm -hmm. When I have my office work, she knows that it, it is a responsibility for me to carry out. Yeah. She will give me that space. That space. Yeah, she will give me the utmost space. And to time. Do, yeah, the time to do that particular job. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to um, choices at home that you know I am not working, mm -hmm. and it's just planning. It's time management, home yes. management, and everything. Mm -hmm. Once you're able to manage your time, mm -hmm. you will be able to carry out everything at home. Yeah. Like I have my work. Before coming out, I did something before coming out. Yeah. Yes. So when I go back home, I will do something before going to bed. Yeah. So that's how we just balance it. Yeah. You do not have to disrespect your parents mm -hmm. just because you're yeah. going to work. Because you're you're working. Exactly. Because you're working. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because this parent is going to pray for you. To prosper. Mm -hmm. This parent is going to pray for you to have that Allah halal ani, mm -hmm. and that the same parent is. Going you to need pray. their blessings. Yeah, you need their blessings mm -hmm. always. So because their I blessings. am working does not mean that you have to put pressure on them. It's because of their blessings you're working. Exactly. So if you want to stop that blessing now, you would, you wouldn't go on. <laughs> I'm actually doing this for my mom. I yeah. don't know if you're watching this, yeah, yeah. but I'm doing this for you. Yeah. See, I know she's <laughs> some someone that is so proud of you. Yeah. Because every mother will want to be. Um, associated with somebody like Binta. Yeah. Not to talk of having a daughter like Binta. Yeah. So, so um, we know the basics. We yeah. know the basics. Being okay. a girl child, you are going to be married. So before you go back, you go to your husband and he will be like, go back to your mom's house and do sorry. That was just a joke. <laughs> go back to your husband until you are able to do something. Yeah. You have to know the basics. It's you have also to. a part of the life. Pattern. It is. It, it is. It is very important. Pattern. It is very yes. vital. It is. Yes. The career is important, but you have to balance it exactly. with... Exactly. With life, what, with what, real life. One thing we do not know is um, right now we are with our mothers. Tomorrow mm -hmm. we also have daughters. Our own so kids. don't be surprised if they do to you what you used to you do, do to your, your mom. mom. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how. Life is a cycle. It is. So they say whatever goes around, comes around. Comes around. Yeah. So when you when you don't want to do work for your mom, you wouldn't do work for your, um, your daughter wouldn't do work for you. That's how it will go. Karma is really real. Yeah. So um, real. we've come to the tail end of the program itself. Um, you can say your final words, and then we will say our goodbyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so it is really a great pleasure being here in Fine TV. Don't yeah. mind me. I'm really very sorry if I used languages that are so inappropriate. Yeah. Um, I am just human. Like I said, I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. It's my also first time on Nash in, on TV. On TV, yeah. yes. Let's say on TV. Yeah. Yes, I'm so sorry. Also, if um. No, you were okay. <laughs> then I'll I can assure back. you, you didn't do anything bad. Then I'll or say anything back. bad. So I hope that I was able to inspire at least uh, one or two people. Mm -hmm. Yes, about my life journey, mm -hmm. work, um, mm -hmm. personal stuff. Mm -hmm. And also, please, please, please mm -hmm. do not 
forget to um uh we also have a youtube page this yeah is rps gambia center for research and policy studies we right. have a page on youtube You're on youtube and on facebook yes and on facebook please mm-hmm. you can follow us mm-hmm. you can also watch the seminars and the webinars that has yeah. um passed mm-hmm. also please do attend this um seminars it will be very interesting mm-hmm. it will um, impact our lives one or the other way mm-hmm. it is saturday at two half past two to two. four o'clock mm-hmm. two thirty. yes 2 30 to 4 o'clock yeah. um, at the MDI conference um, room. room and yeah. we hope to see everyone and make the day a success. Please yeah. do wait for me. Please. <laughs> thank you. I know they and will. And thank they, you, Ms. Rocky, for the invitation. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank You're welcome, Minda. This is a pleasure. We are in this together. Okay. Yes, we are in this together. Um, viewers, we've come to the tail end of the interview to advertise the seminar that is upcoming, um, the GCRPS seminar. And then it is just a gentle reminder to everyone viewing, everyone watching, everyone following Fine TV to make a follow up on the um, on the Gambia Center for Research and Policy Studies. They have big, big things coming up and they've done certain seminars as well that you can also follow on their YouTube pages and their, their YouTube page and their Facebook handle and be of, 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 of how to call it, um, try to follow them up. And be um, build your interest in in what they're doing because um it's all geared towards nation building, mm-hmm. it's all geared to towards seeing the Gambia at a higher level. So we can all do this together and impact change in 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 seeing a greater Gambia, a better Gambia for our kids and for generations to come. Um, it's been me, your host Raki Jalo on Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint and. Your favorite program is on educational development and it's back to stay. This is your season two, by the way. Um, season one is gone. That was the first year. We are now into the second year and this is the second season for Eastern Educational Development. More interesting um, interviews will come your way, inshallah, hopefully. So till we come your way some other day, it's a goodbye from us. Thank you, bye.